Now, moving on to our next topic on the SAP automation with Tosca, we are going to look at another module which helps us to navigate between different menu items and change the settings in our SAP application. Now, what do I mean by menu items is all the menu items which are present at the top menu bars. Okay, so here you can see there uh, are different menu items like menu, edit, uh, favorites, extras, or system, uh, which has got some sub menus. So you can navigate between these different menu bars uh, using this particular module, which is part of the SAP engine. So this particular module is called the SAP menu. Okay. And as you can see, it has got module attributes like menu bar and menu entry. And in the image also, you can see uh, that it has got these different menu bars, which you can navigate using this particular module. So we are going to use this module to do two things. First, we will verify whether we have logged in successfully by uh, going to the system menu and then checking whether uh, we have got this log off option here. So if this log off option is present, that means uh, we have successfully logged into the application. And then we are going to look at how we can uh, perform the log off operation in the SAP application using this uh, menu uh, module and also will uh, try to scan other modules in the SAP application in order to log off from the SAP application. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go to our test case now. So here is the SAP login test case. And here, finally, I want to add another module uh, which can verify my login, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the SAP menu module here. I am also going to rename this to uh, verify login, okay? And then here uh, we can enter the menu bar values in two different ways. So one, uh, you can use the arrow buttons uh, to, so one way is to enter the value directly in the menu bar. So this way you can use the action mode input and you can uh, navigate between different menu items. And the other way around is you can uh, keep on entering the menu entry items here and it will keep on navigating based on these three values. And then uh, we can also perform the action mode verify here, okay? So first of all, we will be using uh, the action mode verify to verify whether that log of menu item is present or not. So the first menu is the system menu. So we'll going to mention this. And then in the next entry, we are going to mention log off. Okay. And for this log off, uh, we are going to change the action mode to verify. And then um, in the value, we are going to verify whether this exists or not. Okay. So this is going to uh, perform the verification for our login test case. So uh, let's go ahead and execute this particular step now. So I'm going to execute this. Okay, so the test case has passed. And then here you will see in the scratch book that it has gone to the system log off and then the verification was successful. Okay, so this is working. Uh, the next thing which we want to do is uh, we want to log out from the SAP application, right? So for that, uh, let's create a new test case and we are going to call this SAP log off, right? Now here, uh, first of all, we will use the SAP menu item in order to uh, select that log off option. So as I said, there are two ways to do this. Either you can follow the three uh, menu entry items or you can directly type it in the menu bar uh, if you are using the action mode input, right? So uh, what we will do, we will say system and then it should always be followed by this arrow and then uh, you provide the log off option, okay? So no matter how many uh, child menu items are present in that menu bar, you can mention all of them here. Uh, each of them should be separated by this arrow sign, okay? And the action mode should always be input. If you put verify here, 
then you will not get the desired result. It will throw an error, okay? So uh, this is going to perform the system log off, right? Um, so let's go ahead and let's try and execute this now. Right, so it has performed that uh, particular step, uh, which is to select that log off option. And now here in the SAP application, you can see that another additional dialogue is coming up, which is the log off uh, dialogue, where you have to click on yes or no, right? Now this particular module is not present uh, in the standard module. So we have to scan this module, okay? So uh, let's go to our modules section. And here uh, I'm going to create another module called SAP GUI, okay? And inside this, I'm going to now scan the application. Okay, so we want to scan this particular uh, log off window. So we will click on scan. And here you will see this is the log off window and it has got all the buttons as well. So here what we want to select is either we will click on yes or we will click on no, right? We can also verify whether this text is present or not. Unsaved data will be lost and we want to log off. Um, so we can also verify this text in this. And then uh, we can either perform an yes operation or no operation, right? So these are all the items which uh, I've added to my module. I'm going to save this and close it. Okay, and then uh, we will go back to our test case. Here, uh, we will say, click log off. Okay, and then we will add that module which we have scanned. So we will go here into SAP GUI. We will add that log off module here. And then here, uh, what we'll do is we will verify this text. Okay, so whether it is present or not. So we will say exists equals equals true. And we can also verify this particular text. So we can say um, exists equals equals true. And then finally, uh, we can click on this yes button, right? So we'll perform the click operation here. And then uh, we will say confirm log off. Right, so these are the two steps under the SAP log off uh, test case, which we have created. We will change the work state to completed now. And now uh, we have already clicked on log off. So we just need to confirm the log off and we'll run this now. Okay, as you can see, uh, it performed a click operation on the yes button and it was also able to verify um, all our text, which we asked it to verify. So whether this, both the text are appearing on that particular dialog box or not, okay? So this way you can use the SAP menu uh, module to uh, perform different verifications on different menu items, or you can also choose the menu items uh, which are present in the SAP application, right? Uh, we also saw how to uh, scan a module from the SAP application and uh, how we can perform the log off operation once we have logged in to the SAP application. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.